Okay, Farmer Ron's back. Today we're going to plant a yellow crickneck squash in the desert. Now, what I do to explain what I do before you see, you know, the, what I'm going to do. Um, I dug a two foot hole with a post hole digger and I took soil that I bought at Lowe's obviously, uh, steer manure, patio plus that has the uh, patio plus that has the guana, uh, chicken poop and you know all that kind of stuff in it and I took topsoil all bags that I bought from Lowell's and I'm going to take and plant it in the desert today for desert uh, planting. Now I'll step aside here you see my big hole I've got down here now <clears throat> I'm gonna get my shovel now you see this do you see this soil here can you see the soil oh yeah okay i've got patio plus in that that's an all-natural outdoor potting soil it's got it's a complete and ready to use no mixing all natural with added organic uh, nutrients it's got warm castings kelp meal it's got bat guana and chicken manure in it it's real good i put some of that down then I put some topsoil in, Nature's Way topsoil, and a little bit of steer manure, and I mixed it like this. Now what I'm going to do is take this mixture and I'm going to throw it in my two-foot hole. Now if you've ever been to a greenhouse, you will notice that a lot of the plants are grown in plastic tubes. Well basically that's what I'm doing here. I made me a long plastic tube with a, a post hole digger. I dug down about two feet. Now I filled that tube up with all this compost material. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get down here and make me a make me a little hole here to put my plant in. Just make a little hole to put the plant in. And this is my squash plant here. See my squash plant I have to tear the outside cover off. Just like that. So the roots can get through. This is a yellow crick neck squash. And I'm just going to take the potter off, the pot off of the uh, plant very carefully here. Almost done. There we go. Now I'm going to put this pot right down into this lush compost mixture, as you can see. This says it's a yellow crick neck. And I'm going I'm to take some of the compost material and put around it like that some of that nice lush soil put it right around the squash plant kind of level it off a little bit here like that and then <clears throat> I'm going to take my famous alfalfa do you remember in the last film I showed you alfalfa sprigs now the farmers used to take alfalfa and grow it in the fields and then they'd plow it into the ground. So what I'm doing is I go down to the uh, market and I buy a bale of alfalfa. I don't have my gloves with me, this stuff's hard on your hands. And I'm going to put this around the plant. This protects the plant from the heat and when you water the alfalfa will break down over a period of time and it'll feed the plant just like a green manure. So what I'm doing is I'm taking and putting it around the squash plant. And it also protects, the, the alfalfa protects the plant from the heat. What I mean by the heat is, as the sun hits the soil, it gets the soil hot here in the desert. And the heat will kill the baby plant. But with the alfalfa, it kind of uh, dampers that. Keeps the, keeps the soil, you know, a temperature to where the plants can handle. So I just take this, break it off, and put it around the plant. Now, after I water this, the alfalfa mulch will help to keep the water in the soil. Plus, over a period of time, the alfalfa will break down and uh, serve as a green manure, which is really nice. You see that? Now, after I get some of that all lined up there, I'll throw that sprig over there and I'll take my shovel 
and I kind of hill it up for the water a little bit just temporary because now remember we're in the desert and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a pipe in alongside alongside this squash plant so I've got to get my my post hole digger over here you see that I'll I'll put it right over here so you can see what's going on I just dig me a hole here another hole now this is how you hold it alongside my squash plant here and I'm gonna put a PVC pipe in it and the PVC pipe is going to feed water to the plant here in the desert. I just get it going down here a little ways. Like this. When I get a nice hole dug, then I'll put that PVC pipe in it. That PVC pipe, I'll fill up with water and it'll feed that squash plant. There's some people that actually put their fertilizer right into the PVC pipe and that uh, also feeds the plant when I was living in Mississippi there was a guy who did this with tomato plants and he'd throw triple 13 down the PVC pipe and water it of course that was a lot of fertilizer and then what would happen was he had tomatoes coming out of his ears but it was with a chemical fertilizer we're using compost so I'm just simply gonna throw a PVC pipe in there okay because we're in the Arizona desert this is the way we water we take a PVC pipe now what I'm gonna do is make slits in it so the water will leak out the bottom of it when I go to fill the, the pipe with water it'll fill up and then it'll slowly leak out the bottom all right so now I'm gonna cut slits in the PVC pipe Yeah, I'm gonna cut slits all right. Here we go. There's one. Give me another one here. Two. And I cut the slits and face them towards the plant. Three. There's four. There's five. That'll be enough. The water can leak out. So then what I do is I take the pipe, take the pipe, and I put it down in the hole with a see the slits are facing the plant like that and then I put dirt in there put the dirt back in that I took out bury it and then I'm gonna go get me a water hose and I'm gonna put water in this thing there let me get the water hose okay so I'm watering the plant just to get it started if the water will keep coming in the hose I'll be doing just fine probably a dog stepping on it then I put water in the pipe and what it'll do is the water will leach out of the pipe in the underground and feed the plant the alfalfa will help uh, keep the water in the soil so there you go, that's how you water in the desert, using steer manure, topsoil, and all natural outdoor potting soil. And I, I hope you enjoyed the program today, we're going to be doing some more planting.